What up, man? It's your boy Arsonist. One half of the platinum producers and heat makers. Y'all checking out this is 50.com. Project, man, it's my everybody knows my partner Thriller, man. We've been together forever, you know what I'm saying? And it's my man, a man. He won uh, one fourth, one fifth of the Crash Crew, you know what I'm saying? It's me, myself, Cardi, my man Cardi, Dots. my man DOX, my man D Rel, and my man, the man. And that's Crash, you know. We, we that new movement, man. We trying to make, you know, make the East Coast jump again. We the ones that did um everything, man. All, all the dip set stuff, man. All the joints for Lil Wayne, Lil Flip, Luda, Gucci Man, Beyonce. Now you name it, we did classic. Classic, classic man. Like we make music that's timeless. Like if you take if you take the artist off the record, it's still a classic sound. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of producers like that now. They just put music out just for the sake of putting music out. And like we put out music that the instrumental alone is monumental. You know what I'm saying? Like if y'all go back and check our history, you know what it is. So that's what we that's what that's what we trying to do with Crash. Crash the album itself is gonna be monumental. And I'm at odds to uh CL Smooth from P Rock and CL Smooth. Um, when I first, when I had first started initially getting, you know, busy, I, that's who like sort of brought me in. Like, he was on a record with CL. I, I was at the session early before CL got there. We were going through beats. I met him through there. We just stayed in touch over the years, man. Um, through me records. I never like really recorded him because he wasn't there. So I, you know what I'm saying? Because over the years we built a good friendship and rapport with each other. Yeah. I knew Cardi for four years. I knew my man Dox for. Probably about five, six, about five, six years, right? And you talked about five, six years, and everybody was talented, but we just got on the right playing field to make everything sound right. You know what I'm saying? It's like before, I knew all these talented artists, but I didn't really have no outlet to do nothing. And now it's like, you know, people know the name Heat Makers, and if I, if I put something out, people pay attention to it. So there's no time but now to really do it. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, birth the crash. And just, you know, making it happen. Definitely the biggest record is Dipset Hands. I stood alone watching the wall with his own hand on my head and in the gangster music. Hey, I stood at home head on the his own flicking the channel, watching how the gangsters yeah. do it. Just because that record is like, it solidified us as, it solidified, to me, we made a mark for a lot of other producers that you can make a street record that can get added to rotation, that could be in the club for three, four years. Doing that right now. At two o'clock, two a.m. when they playing the biggest records, they gotta play our record. You know what I'm saying? Because, right. right. So that record to me was the biggest record, but y'all would also know it's when we did Shotas with Joels and Sizzler. We did Postman for Joels. We did a lot of records. I don't be remembering the names, man. Like, forgive me, you know what I'm saying? But we just can consistently make it records. But y'all know the history. If y'all go online, Google Heat Makers, man, you see. Y'all see the video. We used to always be in the car joking about it. We'd make us something like, yo, we about to do this record for Jay. We about to do this record. But we didn't know nobody. We just used to say it because. That's like, we, that's like 97. Yeah, like 97 when we used to bug out. Yeah. But it can't, it happened, you know what I'm saying? So I guess the answer to the question is, kind of, is yeah, you know what I'm saying? We kind of, I don't look at things like on a small level. Like if I'm going to look at things, and if I'm going to do something, I'm going to look at it like up here. Like I look at Crash, like we can sell 10 million records. Like we're going to sell 10 million records. If I look at it any other way, I'm cutting myself short. You know what I'm saying? My my policy is, you know what I'm saying? You aim for the stars, and even if you miss the stars, you end up in the sky somewhere. no specific sort of music that you're gonna get from Crash, meaning that it's not like, you can say, yo, I want some, I want some, like, we make music that can make you laugh, make you cry, make you think, make you bug out, like, it's just, everything makes sense when it's together, but at the end of the day, we don't put ourselves in a box, we're not saying, like, okay, we're just gonna make music for the gangsters, we're just gonna make music for the, for the, you know, the upper class, we're just gonna make music for the dudes in the hood, or the dudes, we don't do that. Like we make music that's just good music. Like I catch us on everything, man. The the the, the, the ill roots, the the, the on smashes, the you know what I'm saying. Once again, big shout to this is 50, man. Y'all ain't had to do the interview, you know what I'm saying? I know y'all get y'all do your numbers. You know what I'm saying? I know that for a fact. Y'all do your numbers, so big shout to this is 50. Yeah.